Where do you put the mic? Hey, welcome to another episode of Quick Effects. I'm Noptop, and you are watching the place for fast, fun filmmaking effects. Today, we're doing a little experimentation. Currently, I got the lapel mic on. Typically, the setup is the camera in front of me and a lapel mic right here on my chalapapel. But I went to an audio seminar about a year ago, and um, the director was talking about uh, just audio techniques and how to, you know, set up for boom sound and things like that. He mentioned two things that I think were interesting. One was, in case you didn't know it, a boom mic doesn't zoom in on the audio. It simply isolates the audio. Something to think about. But the other thing he said was, when a person talks, their voice actually travels more of an upward direction, not so much down, but up. And he was saying that on a stage performance, if you could, miking somebody right above their head underneath a wig is the best place for the best audio. And I could not find any like proof of this, any factual documentation online or anything. If you have any ideas or if you know, leave it as a comment, let me know, it's driving me crazy. With that idea in my mind, I thought, why not just try it out and see? Because typically I have the lapel mic down here and I know it picks up a little bit more of the base of my voice when I talk like this, which is why I don't talk like that. But I'm wondering if our voice actually does travel up, if it would be better to have the mic just off camera right here, just right here. And it's a little experiment I wanted to test out to see which sounds better. I guess we'll start out right now. Let's get to it. Boom! Oh, thought it was gonna cut away. All right, well, I got the mic set up on my lapel. And so I'm gonna start talking right now. We're gonna do a little test and comparison. So I'm gonna try to say the same thing even though I have no idea what I'm gonna say. All right, so here we are. Now we have the mic hanging right above me. Well, it's not directly above me. I have it about four or five inches in front of me but it's just off camera. You can kind of see, it's just above that point right there. So now we're gonna see a test and see if we can hear a difference. What I'm really listening for is low ends. I wanna hear if it's picking up a lot of more of the bass because it's sitting right on my chest here. And then I wanna also see just um, movability. So I guess I'll look down, I'll say, hey, what's this? This looks like some cool clamp, whoa. Kind of looks like. So now I'm gonna bend down like I did before, pick this up, whoa. What's this? This looks a little weird. It's like a puppet. Boop, 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 boop. And then if I'm moving around, obviously if I turn backwards, it's gonna pick me up. Hey, look at this, a little baby tripod. Cool. And then I come back here and I go, oh, and I keep talking back here just to see and do a comparison. Hey, look, it's a little baby tripod and it extends. Look at that. Nice. So we got the, oops, don't wanna look down and talk into it. I got the lapel set back up. Anyways, so there you go, there's the test. You tell me what you think sounds better. <laughs> that thing is so freaky, face it that way. Ooh, it's moving. All right, hey, check this out, look at this. This is a little dollar toy, literally, a dollar store. One of those little ball shooters, they're like clear plastic. Gave it a coat of flat black, little brush silver, little brush silver red. Look how cool that looks. All that texture. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this for. But anyways, I wanted to do one more audio test. This is the live camera mic, no microphone plugged in at all. We did our little hanging mic, the little Pell mic, and now this. So it gives you something to think about. If you're doing a web series or thinking about getting something started, there's some options. Where you're gonna place the mic, if you're gonna have a mic at all. I think having a plugged in mic definitely sounds a lot better, but I'll let you be the judge. All right, thanks again for watching. Boop. Facebook, quick effects, look for it. See ya. <laughs> all right, well, that's all for today. Right now, I got the mic pinned up here because I think it sounds better, even though I haven't heard it yet. <laughs> um, but when I do edit this together, I have a feeling this is going to sound better. But anyways, for at least for this type of production that we're doing here. Um, thanks again for watching Quick Effects on the Not Top YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. We've got all kinds of really cool stuff. Literally, my living room is now my workshop. And it's kind of a mess in my house, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I got all kinds of projects. I'd list them here if I could, but I don't want to give any away. So I'm just trying to work out all the timing and a lot of the stuff I'm just trying to test, make sure everything works, but we got all kinds of cool builds, some DIY stuff, some gear, some props. So stick with me. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss out. And in the meantime, there's a web series. I don't know if you guys are familiar with. It's called Pop Effects. 
Garrett Fallon covers some sweet popular effects from Hollywood, video games, and all kinds of stuff. So if you get a chance, click the annotation right here. You can go to his channel and check that out. Stay tuned. Thanks again for watching and go make something. All right, I'm getting tired of holding this. Come on, just click it. My arm's getting tired. If you don't have the annotations turned on, then you might have to just go in the description. Hey, be sure to check out the description of all my videos. I link all kinds of cool stuff and I give full detailed breakdowns of the equipment that I'm using to film this episode right here. All right, knob top. Yeah. What's he talking about? Get that corn out of my face. <laughs>